What's going on everybody? I just wanted to do a quick video of how I do my infusions and the things that I've learned um, with cannabis oil and utilizing hemp and uh, THC. So here we have our decarboxylated flour. You can do that in a toaster oven or in any kind of oven. I make a little tin foil uh, kind of, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like a little folded thing um, and I just decarboxylate it and it's got a little bit of a different color, kind of brownish. Um, but it's still got a little bit of green, so you just basically sprinkle it in there like so and Get it inside your oils whether you use uh, olive oil or you can use hemp seed oil You can even use ve vegetable glycerin or um, honey Really just most lipids and a lot of sugars are um, soluble with THC and CBD So yeah, we just get that in there and put it in our double boiler all right, so I got all that loaded and basically you just decarboxylate it at 250 for an hour um, That's usually what I like to go for all this is just self-taught I've just researched it and it's kind of worked out for me and so basically you just get the full Extraction of the lipids and all of the fats and everything that's good inside the plant All right, so now that you make sure you got a good seal give it a good little shake put it fully immersed in the water Give the other one a good little shake. Tell your dogs not to bark. <laughs> and then you just submerge them right like that. And I usually will let mine infuse from anywhere from four to eight to even 24 hours, depending on what you're going for. It will be higher in CDN. And just remember that the cannabinoids will go with their boiling points. So stay below 250 for sure. And try to keep your water temperature anywhere from 160 to 180. And I like to use just a little meat thermometer. Um, just a little guy like this. Um, they work really well. And it will make it so that you just keep your cannabinoids and your terpenes as present as possible. And good luck infusing, guys. I know you can do it. It's not super hard. Um, and I'll show you how to strain it with cheesecloth in just a second.